What is going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights at Darles 2, where this is the second game in the Five Nights at Darles series, and this game is made by Devin Manning and Distant Melody Games, who are both the creator of the Five Nights at Darles series and the Night Shift at Darles series. And speaking of Night Shift at Darles, um, if you haven't checked, I'm also doing Night Shift at Darles 1, so if you haven't checked it out, be sure to do that. Because I am doing that as well as Final Fantasy 2 right now. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game suit as that for us. Alright, on to night one. Okay, we get a phone call. When the call ends, the animatronics will begin to move. That makes sense. Okay, we have we have we have doors and we have doors and lights to check, huh? No. Uh, first off, the animatronics here are able to walk around the restaurant during the day. It's a nifty feature. Most animatronics don't have it. The older animatronics had it too, but it was a little buggy. These new animatronics have a problem. They don't have a night mode, and they may end up seeing. Can I haunt the nose on them? Let me see. Holy cow, I can haunt the nose on Daryl. They don't have noses, but I can still haunt them. Huh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's check the hallways and the camera. See if we're dealing with anything. Okay. Okay, Darla, Darla moved. I just saw her. So we're dealing with her. Oh, Darla just went back to the stage. Okay. So I think we're dealing with her, and then who else we're dealing with? Hmm. Guess we'll have to find out. Okay, apparently Darla went back to the stage really quickly. I don't know why. Okay, I see some older animatronics, and I see Brent and Prize in another camera. Okay, I haven't seen Darl, Darla, or Gina at the doors yet. Oh, Darl just moved. Okay, so we're dealing with both Darl and Darla for this night. They haven't showed up at the doors yet. I don't know why. I guess we'll have to find out which door they come to. And then Gina, I know we're not dealing with because she hasn't moved, because she's not moving yet, so we're, so we're not dealing with her tonight, but we probably will on night two, I'm assuming. Because with the Five Nights at Darl's games, Gina's usually active on night two. Oh, and the nights go by fast, which is a good thing, because then I can do, because then I can do two nights in one video. That's what I like about FNAF fan games having faster nights because then you can do two in one video. Okay, 
haven't seen Darl or Darla at the hallway, so I'm thinking night one's probably just a freebie. Or they don't show up at all until night two. I don't know, I haven't seen them. Alright, and we beat night one without having to deal with Darl and Darla, which is pretty interesting. Nice team. Yay, the kids are cheering. That's what, that's the traditional thing I like about FNAF being is. Oh, and it just jumps into night two, okay. Since we got enough time to record, we will do night two as well in this video. And there's something I got to address about night two, which I will do that after the phone call. Gotcha. Good luck and good night. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with the older animatronics and and the character at the left prize on the prize set of thing. And we have to check the camera every so often to slow it down because we're dealing with a foxy character. And anyways, um, I actually tried doing night two a little earlier and apparently this character on cam six runs so fast that you can't that you have to react at the perfect timing. So. So that's what I want to address. Um, the other thing I want to address is that um, once that character, who the foxy-like character who you see right now, comes out closer, I'm not going to check the camera at all. I'm just going to wait for him to run to the right door and then close it. Because he's really fast. And you can see he's coming out a little more closer, so we got to start checking him every frequently. Up here's Doll. Okay, Doll's gonna come to the left door. Now, I don't know about Doll and Gina. Up, Doll. Ah! Oh God, Doll just jammed the door on me. Holy shit! There you go. Great. Doll just killed me because I. Oh my God. I thought he left. I thought Darl left. That's why I opened the door, but apparently he didn't. Okay. So apparently you have to keep... If you open the door at the wrong time, then he will kill you. Or any of the m -trucks. Okay, so we know Darl's going to come to the left door, but who's going to come to the right one? God, apparently Darl is just... Ugh. Okay, so I gotta keep the left door closed for a little bit, same with the right one, before checking. Because apparently if you open the doors at the wrong time, Darl, Darla, Gina, or the older animatronics will disable it. Okay, I didn't I don't get why they do that. Okay, he's moving a little bit closer. Once he comes all the way out, then I'm not gonna check the camera and I'm just gonna close the right door immediately. In fact, I'm actually gonna close the right door before he comes. Yep, here he is. You see how he's coming out a little further? So I'm actually going to close the right door for a little bit. Okay. Alright, there you go. So when the creeper-looking character moves out closer, then I will close the right door and wait for him to come, then bang on it. Up here's Gina. So Gina, Darla and Gina are going to be coming from the right door. Darla comes from the left door. And if I don't time it correctly, then he will disable it. Or they will, my bad. 
Okay, Gina left. Good. Check for Darla and Darla. And check for the creeper-looking character. Almost if it's Bren or Prize. I don't know who that is. Ah, I see Darl. Not going to let you disable the door on me this time, Darl. So I'm going to keep it closed for a little bit. Oh, I see Darla. I just saw Darla right before we hit 6 a.m. So that's pretty cool. Okay. And since I, have, since I have time in the video, we will do night three as well in this video. So on to night three, and let's see what it has to offer for us. God, these nights go by really fast. And let's see who we're dealing with on night three. Hey, night three. By this time. Now, um, are you doing doing anything to the animatronics during your shift? Um, they're having problems. They act, they were acting fine, but then they didn't find around the kids. But when they see an adult, they just stare. It makes them feel uncomfortable. We're going to be going over the security tapes later this week. Uh, oh, and uh, we're launching a new system. New system tomorrow. Um, the animatronics are no longer allowed to walk during the day, but for some reason they can't be stopped from moving around during the night. They would stop moving up after 9, but before 12, they would go back to the show stage. It's weird. But, uh, back to the, uh, to this new system, uh, it allows performers to put on an animatronic costume. <sighs> Less danger for our customers. Uh, you're in no danger anyway, so no reason to worry. Oh, and, uh, might not want to bump into them during the day. The suits are a little unsafe. <laughs> so just avoid any physical contact with anybody wearing one of these character costumes. Uh, oh, and uh, you might have noticed that the back room is not featured on any of the cameras, or at least a back room besides the besides the parts room. Now, um, we do talk about a back room sometimes. Like, one that, like, but sometimes we're not talking about that one. Uh, this is for other things and such. Uh, you don't have any keys for it, and no customer can see the door anyway. It's hidden. Um, Okay, so, looks like, I think we might be dealing with the older animatronics on this night. I could be wrong though, who knows, because we dealt with Gina and the creeper looking character on night two. Oh, here's Gina, speak of the devil. And I'm going to check for Darl. I saw Gina already. Okay, Gina left. Check for Darl and Darla. And hopefully Darl doesn't give me issues, because Darl, Darl killed me on night two, because I could, I didn't react to him in time when I closed the door on him. Speaking of, here is Darl. Okay, Darl left. Good. Check for the creeper thing, or whatever you want to call him. I don't know what his name is. Let me know in the comments who he is, because I just don't know who he is. Up, oh, he's moving out closer. I'm going to close the right door, since since that character in Cam 6 is moving a little bit, come, is about to leave. And we're going to check for Darl in the left door. Here he is. Okay, let me check the right door. See if Gina, oh, Gina's there. 
Or I think Doll, I don't know who it is, but I had to close the door for that person. Okay, I got rid of Gina, so that's good. Check for Doll, Darla, Gina, and the older characters, however you want to say it. Okay, the creeper character's moving out closer. Up, oh, Darla. Darla. And the creeper guy's moving out closer, so I gotta keep the right door closed. And in a little bit, I will open the left door for Darl to see if Darl's there. Up, oh, he's moving. Alright, and we beat night three. Perfect. And we will take on night four in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.